Hey everyone, Dylan with the HD Perspective here with uh, my buddy Adam. You can check out his channel, but go through kind of my top five tools. I guess I'm cheating a little bit, kind of divided them into groups, but uh, these are the things that I, I use on a daily basis. It's not kind of hard to narrow down, especially because I've got over a thousand items in my toolbox, so trying to pick just a few is pretty tough. Yeah, I tried and ended up with probably 10 tools on my top list. <laughs> so I kind of narrowed it down, but by no means these are, these aren't the, you know, it's not an exclusive list or anything like that. Uh, so first I went with, um, I guess these, I'm going to count these as, as one tool, but uh, these uh, Nipex pliers, I work a lot with uh, hydraulics and hydraulic lines and stuff like that. So uh, so we got, you know, different size of hoses, dash 16 or whatever. So a lot of times you're, you can adjust them, right? And so it's like a crescent wrench, except you can grip it a lot better. So instead of going and climbing up on a piece of equipment with your pockets full of wrenches and having them fall down out of your coveralls when you put your, when you climb up and just take, take this, right? And I've got this in the big size as well for the big dash 32 fittings. So basically a precision precision crescent wrench. Yeah. So I use this pretty much every day. And I guess to go along with it is these Cobra ones, you know, instead of, you know, the smooth jaw the plier wrenches or the, uh, you, you got teeth here. So, and these actually grip on really well on a lot of different things. And just the, how wide they open up, I really like. So I kind of call them my all 16s wrench. Well, the other nice thing about those ones is when they slide in, they don't pinch your fingers as readily either. That's right. You can you can only go so far, right? Same when you open them all the way up. And it's the same with these. Yeah, so sorry, my microphone cut off. So I'm just kind of doing a recording over it. But yeah, fire wrenches, they're great. And my, uh, my another favorite tool is uh, the Flank Drive Plus wrenches from Snap-on. I just find they grip really well, and uh, you know the open end. It's got the kind of the tooth or the teeth in there, so that grabs on really well, and I just find works really good. Yeah, so back to the regular audio, I guess. The other thing I really like about those those wrenches is the length. They're they're yeah. little, they're a little a couple inches longer than your, kind of your standard. And that makes a real big difference when you're reefing on stuff. Yeah. So for wrenches, I haven't found, uh, you know, a, a combination wrench that I like better. I know they're expensive, but when you think about how much, um, you use them, I think it's worth the price. Well, and the other thing is, is how, how often do you end up kind of abusing them? You kind of either, um, your boss doesn't hear this, but snipe them or yeah. you double up a wrench or you use that nifty little wrench extender tool that you picked up from the Valley. Yeah. Yeah, too bad I don't have it here to show it off, but... Check out some of your other toolbox tour videos, it's on that. Yeah. Um, so, I've done a, a comparison video between these two ra uh, ratcheting, or power ratchets, the Milwaukee and the Snap-on. Uh, honestly, I use the Snap-on one at work more. Only because I'm trying to wear it out so I can see what kind of warranty I can get out of it. I know it's only a one-year warranty compared to the five-year of the Milwaukee. I actually like the form factor of the Milwaukee a little bit better. Um, uh, but the Snap-on has a little more power, so I do like that. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check my comparison of those two. So, and then to go along with these, like I usually, wherever I'm working on a piece of equipment, I usually bring these two with me. So, uh, very handy tool, gets in tight spots and it's, uh, got a, got a fair amount of power to it. Um, and it's, it's pretty comparable to like your typical air impact for sure. So I've had this on my wish list for quite a while now, but kind of the first chance to kind of get a hands-on feel for it and after feeling it 
I'm gonna say it's a, a definite must-have now. Um, it's nice and compact, and some decent jam to it. So, I've also I've also done a full review on it, so I'll leave a link in the description for that. But uh, it's just you know it's got uh, three different power settings, and then the last one here you can uh, you know it'll impact till it senses that the bolt is broke free or whatever, and then it backs out slowly. So kind of nice, I guess, if you don't want to fling. Uh, you know, bolts around or whatever. It works in the reverse too. So if you're tightening something, it'll it'll zip up fast, and then it kind of impacts for a second or two, and then it it backs off. So I don't really use it a whole lot because I just keep it in three, and then I just feather the trigger. But once you've you know pulled wrenches for a while, you get kind of a feel yeah. for for how the tool reacts. Yeah, this job's got a lot of. A lot of feel in it. You can tell a guy that's been in it for a while to so someone that's pretty, you know, amateur, new to the new to the field. Yeah, and the nice thing about electric tools, they got the light on the front. Although it wouldn't hurt to make it a little brighter. It's never bright enough. <laughs> so that's why this is my last on my top five pick. This light here is awesome. It is very bright. Uh, it's got pretty strong magnets on the bottom, so you can kind of stick, stick it up wherever you're working, like in heavy duty anyways, everything's made of iron, so there's no shortage of places you can kind of so put it. So it, it, it'll hold itself pretty good to a metal frame? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Like, you can even stick it to the side of your toolbox, like that thin gauge steel, it'll still stick. And then it's got this, if it's something that's non-magnetic, I don't know, maybe something aluminum or... I guess it's more designed for uh, carpentry work or whatever, so you can stick, stick it, it on a 2x4, two two four, or, or you can put a screw in a 2x4, and then you got this keyhole and hang it that way. So I got this big battery for it. It kind of gets in the way, like, you know, if you if you stand it off up, it's kind of off-center. Um, so you can use a, a small one, and then, then it's stands up straight up and you can go like this you can go on an angle here although I find with the big battery it doesn't it's a little bit back heavy so it tends to want to fall if you it will balance but it won't it won't stay very well you can also go on an angle like that um, just it's amazing how many little things they've thought of with just the shape of it different combinations it gives you yeah so like these small batteries, they maybe last like an hour or so on the highest uh, brightness level. And then these ones, I would, s this six amp hour battery will last, I want to say around probably seven, eight hours. Pretty much get a shift out of each battery. Then. Yeah. Like I work 10 hour days. And so towards the end of the day, if I'm using it all day, I'll have to swap it out, but not a big deal. And... I don't know, you can kind of see how bright it is. That's the highest brightness, and then there's three levels. And it's, it's splash resistant and chemical resistant, so if you, you know, accidentally splash something on it, not the end of the world, you can just wipe it off. And it's impact resistant too, so you can you can drop it or whatever. Yeah, unfortunately in, in this field, things get dropped regularly. <laughs> yeah. We try not to, but... It sure seems to happen, just as long as it's not those uh, fits or rages where things wrenches start flying. <laughs> so yeah, these are kind of my top five tools that I use every day. You know, got the, the pliers, um, flank drive wrenches, cordless uh, ratchets, and then my little 3 8 impact, and lighting. I don't know if... Even if you have good lighting in your shop, there's always kind of nooks and crannies. That, always shadows. That you need lit up. And I find with this one, I don't pull my flashlight out nearly as much, and it leaves you with both hands free, which is always nice. That, and you're not sticking their stream light in your mouth. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> taste good. <laughs> Especially after a few liters of antifreeze. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it gets the flashlight the, gets soaked in oil or something, and you drop it in the oil bucket or whatever. It's, yeah. So the oil around here before it gets refined is pretty, uh, well, yeah. stay away. <laughs> well, I'm working with diesel engines, you know, that oil gets quite black too. So you can kind of 
tell even just you know i wipe it off but yeah it, it, the oil it, it gets, gets soaked absorbed. in there yeah but like you know i haven't even had this very long this is my replacement ratchet and it's already well you've had that like a month now or two months yeah <laughs> so anyways that's my uh picks for my top tools you know there's many many more that i use all the time but if i had to narrow it down i guess this would be it I'd remember to like comment subscribe and share and uh thanks for watching we'll talk to you in the next one